animals and the music they inspire. This, my friends, is the common basilisk, better known by another name, the Jesus Christ lizard. Why does it have this name? Well, you're about to find out. Welcome to Songs for Unusual Creatures. I'm your host, Michael Hurst. Today, I speak to an expert about the Jesus Christ lizard. And my friend Margaret Lang Tan plays the song I wrote about it. It all begins in Nashville. They call Nashville Music City, USA. Hundreds of famous country singers and musicians have called this place home. It's also home to the Nashville Zoo, which is where I'm headed to visit the Jesus Christ lizard. The Jesus Christ lizard is found in the tropical rainforests of Central America and parts of Colombia and Venezuela. It has long legs and specially formed feet that allow it to do something quite amazing, run on water. We're here at the Nashville Zoo. I'm with Matt Martino, who's a herpetologist, which means what? A well, herpetologist is somebody who studies reptiles and amphibians. And we're here specifically to visit with the basilisk, but it has this nickname. What is this? Basilisks have the nickname of Jesus Christ lizard because it can actually run across the water. Without sinking? Without sinking. I can't do that, can you? No, I cannot. So how, how does the Jesus Christ lizard run across the water without sinking. It has little flaps of skin on its toes that'll actually expand like this, causing more surface area. And when they stomp down like that, it'll cause water to shoot away from the leg, kind of like a paddle, and it'll actually paddle themselves forward like this. That's wow, amazing. You can see this brown basilisk briefly run on the water. But here's a better look. See how it uses its feet like paddles on the water? An adult basilisk can travel over water for up to 15 feet. Younger and lighter basilisks can go as far as 60 feet. They're also great swimmers and can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes. The males have really nice sail fins on them and they'll have that crest on their head. They're actually much prettier than the females because they want the females to notice them. You gotta be very attractive if you wanna what catch a lizard lady. He's a handsome Jesus Christ lizard. Oh, he's majestic. Do you have a name? Is his name Jesus? His name's Steve. Steve? Yeah. <laughs> I was inspired to write some music for the Jesus Christ lizard. And when I needed someone to perform my composition, I visited my friend Margaret Lang Tan, who plays a very interesting instrument. Dogs! Dogs! Oh, hi! Hey! Hi, my dog. And has a few dogs. Margaret is a concert toy pianist, which is this instrument, a miniature piano. And with this, Margaret has performed all over the world, from the Esplanade in Singapore to New York City's Carnegie Hall. She got her start with the instrument by playing with the legendary avant-garde composer John Cage. John Cage really is the genius behind the toy piano because in 1948 he wrote his suite for toy piano. It's true. I mean, I'm a firm believer that anything can become a musical instrument, whether it's an egg beater or a toy piano. Again, so, you have to thank John Cage for that. We do have to thank John Cage. You know, especially thinking with the Jesus Christ lizard running across the water, mm -hmm. I mean, to me, the toy piano is sort of the perfect sound footsteps of a little, you know, lizard quickly. Well, running. it's because of this toy piano that it sounds like that. Right, and compare it to this one now. If I were to do it here. Whoa. Right, very different sound. It's a completely yeah. different sound. Basilisks enjoy insects, hungry, like these crickets that I'm feeding them. Here at the zoo, they've been known to enjoy all kinds of food, like fish, mice, even cantaloupe. Welcome. Anytime. Perfect fuel for a nice run on the water. Well, that's all the time we have for Songs for Unusual Creatures. Thanks so much to Margaret Lang Tan and to the Nashville Zoo, and of course to you. 
And remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. We love questions. See you next time.